Pisces of the world. Um, I'm a Pisces sun, I'm a Pisces Venus, and I'm a Pisces Mars. And uh, my ascendant is in between Pisces and Aquarius. So I'm so excited about our May 2018 tarot scope. I'm also a Gemini moon, I'm Pisces sun, Gemini moon. And yeah, I'm like totally stoked about our May reading. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll have more. Oh, also $20 until the end of May, I'm doing private readings. I don't have packages yet. I'm planning on doing that by the end of May. Um, so if you want one of those, in the description box, I'm going to have my email just shoot me an email and I just need to know a little bit about you like your zodiac and what you want to get out of your reading and then I'll send you your reading after the payment so uh, yeah just shoot me an email and we'll talk about it uh, $20 to the end of May it's the introductory offer and let's get started on your reading I'm excited so I'm just gonna show the table here I'm going to start with the Vintage Oracle. So the central theme of our reading today is an adventure. There's an adventure. And there's butterflies, so there's change here. There's a, an adventure. You, there's some, some of us could actually be going to Paris. Um, or it could just be in our minds, like this mental adventure. Um, a metamorphosis, a change, springtime, um, living it up going on, flying towards our destiny, towards what we want in life. That's beautiful. I love that. So it's presently affecting Pisces in May 1st through the 15th of 2018. Well, this one wanted to come out. All right, so I have the Five of Pentacles. It's kind of on its side, so I'm going to leave it on its side. So it's not positive. It's not negative. It's not in the upright or the reverse, but there could actually be um, some issues with finances here. Uh, there's some isolation, some insecurity. There could potentially be some poverty here presently. Um, so it doesn't look like we're doing very well financially at all. What else is going on presently for Pisces? Could be with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, could be a, a relationship that got torn apart. They, it's, one partner just didn't care as much as the other partner. Or it could have just been miscommunication because it's neither positive or negative. It could be with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I actually, I'm getting that Capricorn energy again here in the uh, Queen of Pentacles. But it could be any Earth sign. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And it's actually in the upright. So we're definitely dealing with some sort of Earth energy here presently. And the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very influential, practical, motherly, or fatherly. Just a very down-to-earth energy. Um, it is the card for Capricorn. There's a lot of abundance here, a lot of financial security. Someone cut stepping in and kind of uh, chipping in financially, and it could be an earth sign. Um, someone who... Uh, who's practical and utilitarian, who's uh, sensual, someone who's ambitious, responsible, prudent, um, but has a dark side. And that's what the influence is, well, in the past, I see justice. It, it was a major life event. It could have been a Libra. Uh, it could have been a legal event, um, something with law, 
Uh, there could have been a marriage or a divorce. Um, but whatever happened, it was balanced and just in the past. Is is definitely balanced and just. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the Libra. It's just someone with that energy, someone who's diplomatic, um, peaceful, fair, or could have actually been with the Libra. Also in the past, I, I have the King of Pentacles. And uh, the King of Pentacles is looking towards the future. He's not really focused on the present. He's not really looking at the past. He's just focused on the future. Everything he touches turns to gold. He's He has the Midas touch. Um, he's all about power and discipline. Whenever you go for a drive, he'll tell you every type of tree there is. Um, this is also strong Capricorn energy. It could also be a Virgo. And it's, it's, it's an event. It's an energy that affected the past. There was once this perfect couple, but it's kind of uh, presently, it, it's uh, kind of influential. And I, I am still getting that earth energy, that Capricorn Taurus Virgo. What is Pisces' biggest fear in May of 2018? What's Pisces' biggest fear? I see being judged harshly, very harsh judgment, um, a life review, regrets, remorse, and disillusionment. This is your card. This is Pisces. This, actually, no, this is a star. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, I glanced at it looked like the moon, but this is actually the star. So there, there could actually be some... Uh, some fear of a renewed faith, of optimism, of detoxing. It could be a fear of an Aquarius, because this is the card of Aquarius. And judgment is the card of uh, fire energy, so that would be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So it could, it could be a fear of an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or an Aquarius. Um, the fear of being judged harshly by someone who you look up to, someone who's very hopeful, who's optimistic, who uh, is part of a community. How does Pisces currently view themselves in May of 2018? You view yourself as yourself. Uh, the hanged man is Pisces energy. The hanged man has to do with uh, a change in perspective, in dreams, seeing illusions for what they are. So there's a change in perspective. You see yourself as someone with a change in perspective. How do other people view Pisces? I see that there are some major life events here. They view you as someone who has it all, someone who's happy, successful, uh, prosperous, and somebody who has things coming in super fast, a lot of happiness and prosperity coming in really, really fast. That's how people are viewing you. They're seeing you in a very good, sunny light. What does Pisces truly wish for? What does Pisces truly wish for? It wanted to come this way. The Seven of Cups. So you truly wish for fantasy. <laughs> Um, wishful thinking, lots of options, a dream world, happiness, springtime, being able to do whatever you want, being able to explore and taste and um, just do whatever you want to do. What's coming towards Pisces in the future? It's too many cards. One card for what's coming towards Pisces in the future. I see the King of Pentacles. 
So we have the King of Pentacles twice here. I mean, you, uh, there's two different decks that I put together. There's the Witch's Tarot along with the um, Gilded Tarot. So I see the King of Pentacles coming back. So I see a Capricorn coming back. There's definitely a Capricorn coming back here. Yeah, but he's mature. He's matured a lot. It's the same one. It's the same Capricorn from the past, and we all know who it is. We all know it's the Earth energy, Capricorn towards Virgo, but I'm so seeing a Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a Capricorn coming back from the past. It could be a Virgo or a Taurus. Yeah, they're coming back. They're strong. They're in their power. They're secure. They're disciplined. They're abundant. They took time. They're so slow, though. They're such a slow energy. And I do see them coming again in the future. Um, but I do see it's really good. It's really good this time. It's really good. But we all know. Be careful with that. It's kind of weighing down the adventure. <laughs> It's weighing down the adventure. You want the new, you want the adventure, but it's weighing that down. It feels, it feels weighted, weighted down. But yeah, they're coming back, and they're very strong this time. Yeah. I, I see someone who's very sharp-tongued. Someone who's a quick thinker, organized. Can be bitchy, just knows what she wants. It's Gemini energy, communicative, adaptable. If you have Gemini in your chart, this is the same thing the Gemini got. So there's a relation here between Gemini and it's like a it's like a bridge between the two King of Pentacles. Um, there's definitely going to be some confusion. There's definitely going to be some lack of long-term vision here with this person. And you're kind of blinded. You're blinded to it all. And you feel like they're, you're the puppet. You feel like you're a puppet. You feel like you're a puppet. He makes you feel, or she, he or she makes you feel like a puppet on a string. You feel like they're materialistic. All they look at is money. And you feel like they're, they're holding the puppet strings. And you're just a puppet on the string. And they're keeping you away from your abundance. That's how you feel. You feel like they're keeping you away from your abundance. And you're just a puppet on a string. What's the outcome? He's coming back, Capricorn. He's coming back. It's a major life event. He's the devil. He's Capricorn. And he's definitely coming back. He's definitely coming back. So, yeah. Temptation. Codependency. Abuse. A dysfunctional relationship, materialism, greed. He's holding you. You're the puppet. That Capricorn is definitely coming back. And he's greedy as ever. He's holding on to everything. And it's in May. But this is just for May, so this can change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has money. He definitely has money. He's been working hard. You've been having poverty. You've been having financial difficulties. He's been sitting there and he has the mightiest touch and everything he's touching is turning to gold. And you're the puppet on the string and he has you. And he knows he has you. And he's here and he's the devil. He's the fucking devil. And he's back. And it's a Capricorn. And yeah, there's going to be some sudden changes. There's going to be some sudden changes. It's going to happen fast. It's going to catch you off guard. But he has the Midas touch. And you don't have the money. He has the money. Or she. He or she is the one that is controlling things. The one 
who uh, has you as a puppet on the string. So just be careful of that. If you don't like the outcome, it can be changed. That's why you get a tarot reading so you can change the outcome. But I definitely see it. I definitely see Capricorn coming back. Well, Pisces, I know that resonated with me too much. That whoa, whoa, that's totally resonated with me. I hope it resonated with you as well, and it helps you um, to make decisions in the future. Uh, you know what's coming. You know what's coming, and I know what's coming too. So uh, enjoy. See you later. Again, if you want a private reading, they're $20 till the end of May. Emails in the description box. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share.